Why, hello, you two. Today, uh, I have a video about uh, a keepsake. It's something that's uh, been in my family for a while. As you can see, it's a suitcase type object with uh, the grandfather, with my grandfather on my mom's side name on it Lieutenant Albert M. Weitzman. Yes, that's German. I'm adopted, though, so I don't have any German roots, unfortunately. I'm Swedish and Viking. But uh, you may be wondering what this is, and some of you may know what it is already. But the condition of it, it's fairly worn. It's definitely been used. I mean, the uh, uh, this this here is starting to peel off. It could probably do with a reupholstering, or I don't know what I don't know what the reveneering. I don't know what they do to put this material on there. So whatever it is, it could probably use a bit of restoration. But this is a an army. What a, a, well, I don't know which selective service, but a selective service issued uh, typewriter. Which has, of course, there's a lock on there. Thank God it was unlocked by the time I got it, so I could open it up still. Without further ado, let's open it up and take a look at it. Here it is. I'm not sure who makes this typewriter. I really don't know. But, um... It's very cla it's very classic type of typewriter. It's got a uh, cap it's got sh caps lock. Well, shift lock now. Shift lock is mechanical. You actually push it down and then push it forward and then it actually locks in place. So you can see where caps lock got its idea from. Last time I tried this, the ribbon was actually still good. So forget how to open this to change the ribbon. Um, I think you actually have to take it out of the... I'm not sure if you take it out of the enclosure or not. Is there a way to open this? It appears that there's screws holding it in down there, so I think you actually have to dismantle it a little bit to get to the ribbon. But it uses uh, stampers, as you can see. Um, there should be a nameplate or something in there, but there isn't for some reason. I guess the, that was taken out or just was there was nothing ever in there. Oh, this is a Royal typewriter. This is a, uh, yeah, this is a 1940s era Royal typewriter that is mounted in this enclosure, this suitcase type enclosure for uh, <laughs> field typing, so to speak. Typing right out there in the field. I have a piece of printer paper right here, and last time I tried typing on this thing, the ink was still good. So I figure we could give it a try. I can remember how to load paper in a typewriter. I think you do it like this. If I remember right, you just do that. There we are. So let's give typing a shot. I'll type. Uh, I'll type something out here. I'll just type random gibberish. And this is the problem. They jam up sometimes, so you have to do that. If you type too fast, this is the reason QWERTY was invented, because if you type too fast, these things actually bind up like that. It has a very distinctive sound. Very classic sound, too. It actually does ring, too. Okay, let's type a real sentence now. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, totally not touch type with a typewriter. But as you can see, the ink is actually still good. It's actually still writes, and this is ink that probably hasn't been changed since the '40s even. I'm not sure. My gra my uh, the grandfather on my mom's side uh, died in the late '80s, so I never really had a chance to meet him or talk to him or ask him about any of this. So unfortunately, that'll have to wait until I die. <laughs> so let's type. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Did I type that right? Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Period. 
and we'll just return it so you can see it. And the ink is still good, surprisingly enough, which is pretty cool. I mean, apparently these ribbons last forever because it's, been, it's probably been sitting around doing nothing until I got it, and then I typed on it once, then didn't touch it for like two years, and now I'm bringing it out to show you guys. So, yeah. Give a demonstration how shift lock works. It's pretty much caps lock. You just push it down, push it right there, and then I'll type some uh, <laughs> more modern things into an old uh, typewriter about lol. Then how about uh, meh and meme. And there you have it. <laughs> so let's bring advance this a little bit and just uh Yeah. Make sure the num let's make sure the numbers work. I don't see a one on here for some reason. Margin there's also a margin release button. I don't know why there isn't a one button. That doesn't make any sense. Hmm there's a one half button here. I don't know what that does. You can type one half or one fourth. So they actually have a stamp for that. Which is interesting. Yeah, look at that. You can actually type a one half on here. I don't know why there isn't a one though. It doesn't make any sense. Strange. Very strange. Let's just do the numbers. Well, the numbers definitely work, but I mean the ink probably could do with some changing. Uh, excuse me, because it's a little dried up, but it still does work. I mean, clearly it still works. But I just thought I'd show you guys this uh, old Royal typewriter that uh, used to be my grandfather's, and just to show you uh, technology and how it was back then, and the fact that it's still working today, because it's just in amazing shape. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.